Tutorial 1 – Insert SolidWorks 3D Models in PDF In this video session you are going to learn to insert a SolidWorks project as a 3D model in any PDF document. The next video tutorial will teach you the same thing though without SolidWorks installed in your computer. So if you don't have SolidWorks installed on your PC and you have no intentions of doing that, skip this tutorial and right away go to Tutorial 2. Otherwise, if you have SolidWorks installed on your PC and you can open a project on it, proceed with this tutorial and at the end of this session you will create your first 3D PDF document using files from the 3D PDF Maker tutorial. No matter how project is positioned in SOLIDWORKS, 3D PDF Maker offers optimal and smooth insertion of a model in PDF through its automated procedures. The tutorial files are stored in the 3D PDF Maker for SOLIDWORKS tutorial folder in Documents in your user folder. To easily find them, go to Libraries, Documents, 3D PDF Maker for SOLIDWORKS, Tutorial. You can also open tutorial PDF files directly from the initial 3D PDF Maker dialog in the Examples pane. Now start your SOLIDWORKS program and from Libraries, Documents, 3D PDF Maker for SOLIDWORKS tutorial, open the file of an assembly excavator.sldism. In 3D PDF Maker, open the file Tutorial 1.0 and zoom it appropriately with the relative button or the mouse scroll wheel. Press Add 3D to select an area for your model insertion. Without changing the default settings, click on Convert from SolidWorks. Please wait, handling the real model of substantial size will take more time. 3D View dialog box opens. The model is already correctly oriented, so click on Confirm. Click in 3D View, adjust the zoom with the mouse scroll wheel and then confirm by clicking the button with the green checkmark icon in the top left hand corner. The 3D model has been imported in the PDF file. Click on the button Show Preview with Adobe Reader. The PDF document is opened in Adobe Reader. Holding down the left mouse button, move the mouse horizontally to rotate the model. You have created your first 3D PDF file with the model coming from the SOLIDWORKS software. Before exiting Adobe Reader, you can save the PDF you have created in the My 3D PDF folder, giving a name to the file. Next video will guide you how to import SOLIDWORKS projects having no SOLIDWORKS software installed on your PC. Now quit Adobe Reader, go back to 3D PDF Maker and close the PDF file by clicking on the red cross in the top right hand corner without saving the file. SOLIDWORKS offers a lot of sample projects that you may use in your training. You can insert 3D models of these projects in the PDF file tutorial 1.0 or in any other PDF file you have. At the end of this video session, close the tutorial dialog window. You will be able to access tutorials whenever you want by clicking on the tutorial button in the menu or on the button Open Tutorial in the initial 3D PDF Maker dialog window.